Namaste, I am Krishnitanya Mandela, you are EV Bro. Today we have a special guest with us, the founder of LSPA EV, Mr. Prathmesh Chaudhary. Actually, they, their startup is making hybrid electric vehicle kits. So, firstly, Mr. Prathmesh Chaudhary, congrats for your new startup and thanks for connecting with EV Bro. Thank you, thank you so much. Let me st straight away go to the main question. How you started your journey and what motivated you go with a hybrid electric vehicle conversion kits manufacturing? Okay, so from uh, like past four years, I'm doing this. And uh, from when I started, the idea stuck into my mind for the electric vehicles. But the electric vehicles has uh, more problems in market. As we know, like, uh, like many uh, uh, bikes or the batteries, has been like uh, exploding or you can see the fire is coming out so uh, and also the smokes so temperature is like they're rising the temperature for the batteries so uh, for that concern my idea stuck into my mind is hybrid electric vehicle so that like uh, we can make petrol as well as electric like many problems like it is electric vehicle also has a limited range but uh, we can here explode like uh, uh, we have solution or the innovation that after the battery gets fully discharged, you can travel further with a petrol mode. So you mean to say you started like a college product, then you are shifting to into a commercial product now? Uh, no, li not like a college project, but uh, I like from from the like first year only, I want to do a startup only. So for that startup, this idea came into my mind. Then we have uh, some research over it and then we have patented our uh, innovation and then we make a prototype say also it is a project because uh, i have also won like three national competition and as well as uh, one international and three states competition it's good to hear and uh, so you already established startup now how much funds you have raised so far and what what how much capital you required for this startup okay so uh, like funds we have just started like in uh, 26 december 2022 only so like uh, it is a new startup and uh, from past it was just a research base so from now like uh, we have not raised any fundings but uh, in future we would be like required so much funding uh, because of the uh, manufacturing uh, and uh, producing in a bulk uh, hybrid electric kits so like from my consideration like one cr to five cr would be uh, like a fund requirement for our company to uh, like scale our startup and produce uh, millions of uh, uh, kits so that customer would also get uh, the kits in a less amount let me straight away ask this question and you know that uh, these these retrofitment kits whatever you say the hybrid kits or even the battery vehicle kits anybody can import that from china and they can do retrofit from to their ve petrol vehicle what kind of innovation you have used in your particular startup is there anything new from not not just importing from china yes so you can see like uh, china is like uh, some of the peoples are importing the kits and uh, like uh, retrofitting it is only a pure electric not a hybrid one so we are making specially for a hybrid one so that you can travel like after the battery gets fully discharged you can travel further with the petrol mode so that's our uniqueness so we have designed a like entire throttle cable which can uh, power electric mode also and as well as a petrol mode also so that's our innovation plus when you are in inclination mode you can have a boost mode with petrol and electric with combination so that's what uh, we are doing and that's out our innovation and also we are having uh, portable battery and charger so that you can directly uh, like remove the discharge batteries and you can charge it anytime anywhere so it is like having uh, like uh, portable batteries or you can say the swappable batteries you mean to say your innovation lies only in the cables not in the motor or controller that's it no 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 that's not like that so anyone can uh, bring like uh, like kits from china and they can fit their vehicle and uh, can make their vehicle fully electric but uh, like we have designed these kits like uh, motor and all so like we have uh, like in on cnc machine we have developed these electric kits so uh, for that like to be produced in mass we require a manufacturing unit so that we can uh, produce in a bulk then here is a question for you so 
have you applied for any patents for your innovations now yes yes we have applied for the patents and uh, we also got like uh, it is filed also and uh, like uh, uh, it is a uh, like having multi purpose hybrid electric vehicle with performance management system so that's our uh, like patent title and also we are patenting our uh, like new hybrid battery fuel tank so like uh, in bikes there are more problems for the changing it into hybrid so converting into hybrid so we have our own uh, design patent also for the bikes also so we have registered like two patents on us okay and now coming to your hybrid kit for example you are making you are making this kits initially tested on tvs jupiter right for example if you are adding additional motor battery and controller you are actually disturb disturbing the actual design of a petrol vehicle for example if you are only doing retrofitting you are just removing the engine and keeping a battery pack motor and controller it is stable but whenever you putting up hybrid vehicle then you are actually disturbing it you are adding more weight to it so how you are managing that weight factor and the form factor yeah so it's a good question so uh, before like entering in a kpt sparkle event so it was a biggest india's biggest uh, competition like international like uh, india's biggest competition and uh, uh, so before entering that we go under a mini testing of this vehicle like so they also check like what what actually you are doing and analyzing it on many softwares matlabs so uh, we are also uh, having our own analysis on that and uh, uh, like you can see that the, the kit which we have fitted it it is on a right side of the uh, uh, like wheel and the engine the existing engine is on a left side so we perfectly manage the both the weights on the center so you can see like you can say that it is a perfectly balanced and uh, we have also gone through many uh, like analyzation and many uh, like fnq or uh, fmea uh, so a finite element stress analysis you can see that say that okay now coming to your specifications like what is the specifications of your hybrid kit so top speed on electric it is like 60 km per hour and uh, like uh, uh, battery is having 1.5 kilowatt our battery and uh, motor is also 1.5 kilowatt and uh, yeah so the maximum temperature of the battery uh, it can go it is up to like 40 degree celsius because we are using uh, uh, our like own made like uh, uh, lithium ferrophosphate batteries so uh, yeah and ha uh, huh. so 60 kph top speed for example if the user required more top speed will you, will you able to provide that or is the standardized kit for every vehicle so it is a standardized vehicle like standardized speed for every vehicle in electric mode only but if you okay. having a boost mode that is both combining petrol plus electric so it will give you a pick up like in just a second so so in just a 5 seconds you can travel 60 km per hour so it will be usable when you are overtaking any bike or any car or when you are on a inclined mode or inclined plane so how much range you are offering with that uh, battery capacity so we have a variable range capacities for the batteries so starting from 40 kilometers like when a daily user uh, when uh, his office is only at 10 kilometers so we are starting from 40 kilometers of range 60 kilometers of range 80 and 80 kilometers of range and if you require more than 80 kilometers so we suggest uh, to carry two batteries in your vehicle only so one one will be in dicky and another will be in uh, like uh, foot space of your vehicle so it will go up to like 140 km to 160 km so please tell me the price of the kit price of the kit and also the prices with 40 km range battery pack 60 km range battery pack and 80 km range battery pack okay so uh, from uh, 40 km battery pack is having like 30 uh, 30000 for the assembling kit kit means hybrid okay. kit and assembling so it is a standardized 30000 rupees but only okay. when the you increases the range that is the capacity of battery increases the price will increases so from 40000 it will uh, come around like 55000 uh, then for the uh, 60000 for the uh, 60 km it is having 60000 and for 80 km it is having like 65 to 
70,000. I have one more question. For example, already a pit IC engine vehicle usually gets heated up if you travel for 50 to 60 kilometers. You are adding additional battery pack to that. So do you think the heat factor will increase with that or if you are putting two battery pack and an engine in a vehicle? So we suggest every vehicle owner to travel 90% on an electric mode and only when the battery gets fully discharged that only at that time only you uh, like uh, travel in a petrol mode. So 90% when, when you are using it electric mode the engine will not get, up, get hit up. Yeah that's a smart one. Now coming to the, your kit, you are actually offering a standardized kit. So that kit will be suitable for each and every vehicle. For example, the form factor of each and every scooter will vary, right? So do you think the kit will be suitable for every vehicle, the scooter? Yes, the, the, so the motor, the motor which we are offering, it is a standardized motor and only the uh, motor mounting plate gets changed with the every vehicle uh, base or the vehicle wheel base. So like uh, Activa okay. uh, has Activa, then Hero, then Destiny, then uh, Access. So they have uh, all like standard at 12 inches of a wheelbase. Uh, but only like uh, some of the vehicles has the 10 inches. And uh, so we have to like, uh, like you can say the Jupiter. So Jupiter has having a 12 inches of a wheelbase. So for that, we have to change it to uh, 10 inches. So we, like uh, so, uh, TVS Zest has a 10 inches of a wheelbase. So we like exchange both of these and uh, we fit the uh, motor mounting plate. So you are not confined just for uh, scooter kits or you have any plans for expanding to electric cycle kits and electric three wheeler kits as well? Yes. So uh, like uh, starting with the two wheelers, we have started in a moped or the scooters one. So then after we are also shifting for the bikes, two wheeler bikes. And then we are moving into three wheelers and in then four wheelers. So uh, this will be our chain. But uh, for the bicycles, we are not yet thought because bicycle is meant to be uh, do exercise, not with the electric vehicle to uh, like uh, travel more distance. Okay. Yeah. Now, are these battery packs AS156 certified battery packs you are going to use? Yes. So uh, battery packs is are are certified. Uh, by ARI by 156 uh, and we are using only a certified ARI certified battery bag so that it would be uh, good for the customers also. So how much warranty you are going to provide on the on your kit and the warranty on your battery pack? So uh, like on a battery there will be a three years of warranty and uh, for a kit there will be a one one to two years of a warranty. So the, the charger is included in the kit right? Yes, yes. In a battery battery pack, uh, battery with charger. So they both are included. In it. So if the customer only required the kit itself, they can buy it for thirty thousand, right? Uh, not with battery pack. Yes, yeah, they can buy, it, but they have to assemble the kit from us only. Because or other otherwise, if he is taking the kit, so we will not provide the warranty. Okay, okay. Then then how is the process? Like you are going to sell these uh, kits online. And are you going to set up any kind of service centers in the, in the, all the cities? What is your plan? Uh, so we are like uh, connecting. We have a garage networks in our uh, area that is a Pune. So we are connecting okay. with the garages and we are providing training them as well for the hybrid kits. Okay. So that when the uh, vehicle is like having any problem in servicing so that they can fix the vehicle or they can service the hybrid electric vehicle. But other than that, uh, the garages. Uh, like other garages will not able to do a servicing for a hybrid electric vehicle okay so so what is your expected uh, launch time then so i think you mostly confined to pune in the earlier stages yes yes so like uh, why pune we have choosing because pune has a like in india there is a one of the biggest city where the bikes or the two wheelers are in more population so we are like starting from pune then we are will be moving to Mumbai and metropolitan cities like Aurangabad, Nagpur and then uh, coming to other uh, states. So the launch date will be like in uh, the air operation for the vehicle is now going on uh, and it is in process. So it will take some time. So the launch will be in uh, like after the September or November at this end or you can say that uh, like from 2024 we will be start in other cities or other states also.
okay so the most expected the date will be you can consider like november or december you can expect uh, your electric i mean the hybrid retrofitment kit op openings yes yes openings yes yes this end end year end of month of this year thank you so much mr pratmesh choudhury for your wonderful answers and clarifying all the doubts about viewers and also congrats for your ls5 ev hope you will you will start your production very soon and uh, people will get the hybrid kits yeah so thank you so much for uh, inviting me for the interview and uh, uh, so asking some questions for the yeah. uh, future ev future hybrid electric vehicle so um, so let me tell you the concept behind the elspa so elspa the name is given for like ele is from electric and spa is from spark from ic engine so there okay. were name gave like elspa hev and hev is hybrid electric vehicle so we deal in a hybrid electric vehicles so that's how we got our name okay okay good to know and uh, once once again all the best for you and uh, that's the complete interview with elspa ev founder mr prathvesh choudhury and if you like this video please like share and subscribe to ev bro for automobile videos please do like share and subscribe to mbs auto charge the nature drive the future if you are an electric vehicle owner willing to share your ownership review with us please whatsapp your details to the number shown on the screen or else you can fill the form link in the description below